With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello dear students, here the question is a bar magnet is made to fall through a long vertical copper tube. The speed V of the magnet as a function of time t is best represented by which of the following graph. So when the bar magnet is made to fall through a long vertical copper tube, then in this case the bar magnet will attain a terminal velocity here bar magnet will attain a terminal velocity terminal velocity because as the velocity will increase the change of flux will also increase as velocity increases the value of del phi that is change of flux will also increases and according to Lenz law, the force acting on it will start decreasing. Now, according to Lenz law, we know that according to Faraday law, whenever there is change in flux associated with the coil, an EMF is induced. And now, according to Lenz law, the direction of this change of flux and induced EMF is opposite so that we can say that according to Lenz law the force acting on it starts decreasing the magnetic force acting on it will start decreasing and here as the value of force is decreasing we can say that the value of acceleration is also decreasing and as acceleration is decreasing, the rate of change of velocity dv also decreases. And as the value of dv decreases, it means the value of velocity will increase because the acceleration of the magnet will decrease as the velocity increases because the rate of change of velocity is decreasing. The magnetic force is acting opposite to the weight of the magnet. Magnetic force acts in the opposite direction to that of weight of the magnet at terminal velocity of the magnet the magnetic force will be equal to weight of the magnet at terminal velocity magnetic force magnetic force will becomes equal to weight of the magnet to becomes equal to weight of the magnet as the rate of change of velocity becomes equal to zero net force is also becomes equal to zero it means the magnetic force is cancelling the weight of the magnet so the graph will be an exponentially increasing graph with decreasing slope to reach the terminal velocity. So here correct representation for such exponentially increasing graph is best represented by D. So here D option will be the correct answer. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.